Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. What did you guys think of my new setup space? I really appreciated all your feedback in the last video. Your comments means a lot to me. I appreciate it. Um, I it's This is definitely going to be a learning curve for me. I think I need to get like some ambient lighting going on back here for filming. Um, this light back here is working kind of good in like lighting it up a little bit. But when I have my grow lights on back there, it's a little bright. So if you know lighting, let me know if you have any tips and tricks and maybe I can like make it look a little bit better for filming. But anyway, I'm at my desk and I have my prop box here. So I thought we can open this up because it's been a few weeks since we did this together. And I did put my elbow syngonium in there and I am seeing another possible little growth in there. So I think that uh, putting it in here definitely was beneficial for it. I also think I'm going to take my varicosum out and check the roots on it. <laughs> and uh, maybe even my melano. So let's just get into it. Let's check my prop box and see what's propping. Here's my prop box. So in it, we have my varicosum. This is the varicosum here. Here's another little piece of it with a brand new leaf unfurling there. And then we have my philodendron melanochrysum here with another little piece of melano right here and a little baby popping in there. And then this is my syngonium elbow. So those are the four plants, wait, one, two, three, three plants <laughs> that I have in here. And I really want to check on this varicosum, which is buried, I think, the deepest in this box. Um, actually, let's pull up my melanochrysum first. Okay, so this is why we check on things. This is so interesting to me. Uh, this leaf is totally okay but there are zero roots growing here i don't i can't i don't understand um the leaf is not dying it's not even floppy like look at it. it's like very sturdy but there's no nothing's going on here and this is pretty much how it's been since i put it in this box i want to say it's been in here for maybe two months now um, so I'm not sure what's going on with this. I'm going to take this out and see if maybe, um, it needs to be like in its own environment. Maybe I put it in a Ziploc bag. I'm not sure. We have to experiment, but let's do, let's check on this melano, which I believe is doing very well with its roots. Okay. Okay. This is what happens when you have a small prop box and <laughs> things start to grow together. So I'm gonna carefully pull this up here. Ooh, wow, it's all like, let me look at the bottom. Can't see any roots from the bottom. It's kind of all intertwined together. And I wanna be careful because I don't want to break any roots because that's obviously why I put it in here. I'm gonna have to remove my elbow, which looks like it's sprouting some roots here from this um, node. Had some aerial roots there, which look like they're getting a little bit bigger. So that's definitely a good thing. And then here it sprouted some new roots there that are quite fuzzy. And this is just from what, two weeks ago? So definitely putting this back in here because it's happy in this environment, which I thought it would be. It just wasn't doing anything in the water. Uh, let me pull this up. I think this is a piece of my melano. And I just don't want to rip the roots because it is really in there. We have to be very gentle. I also can't understand like why grass is growing in here. Do you see this? Okay, this looks great. This is a little piece of my melano that I put in here a while ago. That leaf is so cute. It's got a new baby leaf there and here's the roots. So this is looking really good. Uh, I'm probably gonna leave this in here for a little bit longer. It technically can be potted up because the leaf to root ratio is a decent amount. 
but it's still very juvenile. So I'm gonna leave it in the box. I'm just gonna take it out for a second so I can maneuver this varicosum because these root, there's a lot of roots here. Wow. And they're intertwined in the spag. Okay, got that one out. Just gotta be careful and you'll get them out. Okay, so these are attached. So these are the roots that grew from this growth point along with some grass. Um, I'm just gonna kind of take some of this bag off here. This is definitely ready to be potted. I just get so nervous. Okay, and then here is the other part of it, which is also very much Oh my gosh, it loves being in this box. Sometimes I wanna just purchase a gigantic container, like one of those gigantic Tupperware bins that you store like Christmas decorations in. <laughs> Fill it with spag and just have plants growing in that. I feel like they would be so happy in something like that. I could probably get some really big plants out of that. It's an experiment, maybe we'll do that next year. We have to go buy some totes for Christmas decorations to put away now that we're in 2023. Um, so maybe I'll just pick up an extra one, you know? Look at this root goes all the way down here, wow. I purchased a block of sphagnum moss a long time ago. I wanna say it was probably two years ago and I spoke about this on the podcast and I just keep reusing it, but I think I'm gonna have to really go through this now and make sure that there's no spent roots in here that are just kind of like in the spag because I don't want a plant rotting because there's other pieces of a rotting plant <laughs> in the spag, you know what I mean? But you can definitely reuse sphagnum moss. You can boil it. Um, I've heard people microwave it just to kind of like sanitize it. I've never done that. I just keep reusing it. But look at all these roots here. They're very thin roots. Are you gonna focus? Is that focusing? There we go. Very long roots on this one too. So technically on this cutting here, I could probably cut right here and it would be two plants because I have roots growing out of both nodes. Um, but I might just pot it in a pot like so, so that they can, oh my gosh, how beautiful are these leaves? Oh, I got this plant as a gift from Plant Girl 50 on Instagram, Brie. Look at these stems, oh my gosh. And the underside of these leaves are arguably even more beautiful than the front. Look at that, so, so pretty. I'm just terrified. I'm low key terrified that I'm gonna kill them because this is just <laughs> the, the humidity. It, they love humidity. There's even some roots growing off of this new leaf here. You guys see that right there? Sorry, it's hard to see if this is focusing right there. Uh, that leaf's gonna be pretty. So, Probably get a pot and pot it up just like that. Oh, I don't know. Pray for me. But it they definitely have to come out of this box because they're running out of room and the roots are just beautiful. Okay, and then we have this one piece, which I know the roots are gonna be good on this piece too. Oh, and we have another little growth point happening. Wow, okay. Let's fish these roots out. And I, honestly, I open this maybe every two weeks and I missed the plants and it just stays very, very humid in the box. I don't have to do much. I don't add a bunch of water or anything like that. It just keeps its moisture and um, the moss stays wet. This box does not seal with a very tight seal either. So I feel like that's probably why I've never grown mold in here or anything because it's not 
like suctioned shut. This is just a shoe box. So the cover just kind of like lays on the top. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I have to get this spag off of here though, because I don't want to pot it up with sphagnum moss on the roots still. Uh, I don't even know if I have any soil. I can't remember if I used it all or not. Look at how pretty. Oh, this is definitely ready to be potted up though. Okay, I didn't think we were gonna be potting anything up today, but I guess we are. So now that I have the varicosum out of there, I'm just gonna kind of go through and see, make sure that there's no like dead roots here. Get that out of there. Yeah, see, there's a lot of root in here. I don't want that to be in there. I mean, it's never hurt anything before. The roots just kind of die off like that. There is some green moss in here. I don't know. I don't know, like, if this is moss growing. Like, kind of crazy to me. That's wild. Let me know if this, if you think that this is moss. It's definitely moss. Okay, I think I got all of the dead stuff out. Yeah, I think we're good. So I'm gonna spread this back out <clears throat> and I'm gonna pop this back in here and see if maybe we really pack it in and also around this node. I mean, it cannot get any more packed than that. So, oh, hopefully. And then we're gonna put my elbow back in here, my Syngonium elbow. We'll do that on this side. There's also two uh, nodes on this stem where it can grow from. Okay, there we go. Down to two plants in there. All right, now I have to go see if I can find a pot and some soil, <laughs> BRB. I actually just found the moss that I use and this is the moss that I ordered. I figured I'd share it with you because I'm searching for some LECA and I can't find where I put my LECA. <laughs> it might be in the garage, I don't know. But um, yeah, this is the spag. So I have a whole half of a brick here to use if I wanted to like freshen up my box. But anyway, I can't find any soil and I can't find any LECA, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. To be determined, hold on. Okay, we found some LECA and I'm pouring myself a Diet Coke over ice, starting the new year off right. <laughs> that kind of rhymed. Okay, so I have some LECA here. I have my wicking cord and my cash po. I like this cash bow because it looks like terracotta, so it kind of matches my whole vibe, but um, it's not. There's like no drainage hole. It is a cash bow. Okay, so I put that in there like that, and then my Lekka's only filled up like that much, so I'm gonna pot up my varicosum. Ooh, please don't die. I don't even know if LECA is the right way to go here, but we are just living and learning. I mean, honestly, that looks really cute and it kind of fits in there perfectly. I'm gonna put this other one right in front here. Look at her, she is cute. Okay, maybe we'll keep it up a little higher. And now we backfill. Just make sure all of your roots are covered for the most part with LECA.
Uh oh. I forgot about this little guy. Oh, this is not. This is my melano. I didn't put my melano back in the box. Uh oh. Maybe I could pot this up in a little pot. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, okay. So let's pull this camera up a little bit. I mean, that looks pretty good. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to do in LECA, but we are going to experiment and we're going to hope for the best. <laughs> I'm terrified. I really am. We have a new leaf coming in right here. Uh, there's also a tiny little nubbin down there, and I just made sure I left that exposed. I'm going to give this some nutrient water and then put it on my shelf. Oh my gosh, I love this plant so much. You guys have no idea. I'm going to set this up a little different for right now because I have some cuttings here from my Syngonium, the one I showed you last week that wasn't doing that great. I have a few cuttings here and I think I'm going to stick these back in the propagation box. There's like four cuttings total. This is the Syngonium that belonged to my friend's grandpa. I've told this story a couple times. He passed away and he's had this plant for a long time and she's just like, I don't know, maybe just try to keep it alive. And I'm like, okay, yeah, no pressure. Um, but I've been keeping it alive this whole time and it was doing great. And I had it in LECA and then it tanked. So I think I'm gonna put this in soil once it develops a root system, which it definitely will in sphagnum moss. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is pop this in that box and then I wanted to put this back in the box too because I just think that it's still too tiny to pot up and honestly I don't, I don't want to put it in LECA and I need to get soil. I need to order some data the tanks. Um, okay, and that's pretty much it. One other thing I wanted to show you guys though that I got for Christmas was a gift from Dossier. 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 Um, this is a perfume and these are pretty inexpensive perfumes and they just launched in Walmart, which is crazy. They've, they sponsored a bit of video before. This video is not sponsored. They have on their website, if you go on the Dossier website, I think it's dossier. I think that's how you say it. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe dossier. I don't know. Um, if you go on their website, it'll show you like what scent this kind of imitates. So this one imitates flower bomb. I love flower bomb so much. The Victor and Rolf flower bomb. And this has quite a significant relation to flower bomb. It, ha it has that like floral scent. This one is top notes are bergamot, green tea, freesia, and berries. And it's just, mmm, woo, it smells so good. And it's like, I love the bottles. They're very cute, aesthetically pleasing. They're very simple and they just have like the name on the front. So this is the Gourmand White Flowers scent. If you go on the website and check them out, I'll have the link below. But what's cool is that you can now get these at Walmart, which I think is pretty awesome. They come with this little index card that kind of tells a little bit about the fragrance and what it smells like. And the reason, when they reached out to me and asked if they can send me some more perfume, I was like, I still have the other ones that I, that I got last time. So I didn't really need perfume, although I wanted to try this one, so I'm glad I got it. But they have candles now. Candles. I was like, please send me a candle. <laughs> I really wanted to try their candles out. So this one is the Floral Marshmallow. And the Floral Marshmallow, actually, Mia has the scent. And it is a very pretty scent. It's it's very, it's kind of like muted. It's not very strong. But I like how they're packaged. They come in that little box. Perfect for like a little gift. I wanted to give this to somebody. And the smell is so refreshing. This is again the floral marshmallow. I love a good candle you guys. So the top notes in here are marshmallow, neroli, and bergamot. So if you like those scents, pick one of these up. It's a two wick as well, which 
I love a good two or three wick. I feel like they last longer, you know? Anyway, I wanted to show you guys those because I got those around Christmas time and I didn't put them in my last video. So, decided to this time. Actually, I'm gonna keep this out of the box because I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn this baby later. Okay, really quickly, I wanted to do this before I jumped off of here just in case she didn't see it, but we have a winner for the My Clean Leaves mug from two weeks ago. And the winner is Maria Tosado. Maria, if you're watching this video, um, DM me, send me your address, and I'll send you the mug. Congratulations, Maria. Thank you for playing along. And we have another little contest today. Uh, I, I think giving away stuff is fun, and I feel like it just gets people in the comment section and you know engaged on my video which helps me and I also give stuff away which helps you guys so let's do another giveaway I got this biofungicide from Arbor for Christmas as a little gift and I haven't opened it yet and I thought it was so cute and I looked at it I have the bigger bottle of it and I was like how cute would this be as a gift it's got a little scarf and a hat on guys and it's still winter where I'm at so I thought this would be the cutest little gift to gift you guys. This is also sold in Walmart. Arbor sponsored one of my previous videos. And again, they just sent this to me as a little Merry Christmas gift. And I have a bigger one, so I don't need it. So let's give it away. So in the comment section below, let me know what your New Year's resolution is. I know, some people believe in them, some people don't. But maybe we don't call it a New Year's resolution. Maybe we call it a goal. One goal you have for 2023. Or one thing that you're gonna aim to achieve in 2023. I really enjoyed reading everybody's Christmas holiday traditions, some of which I shared an interest in, um, opening gifts on Christmas Eve being one of them. We do that as a family. So I'd love to hear your New Year's resolutions or your goals or whatever you set to achieve in 2023. And I'll pick a winner next week and we'll get this sent out to you. This fungicide is really great because it prevents from a broad range of foliar fungicides. So it can be used in the garden on vegetables and fruits, but it could also be used for your house plants. If you notice any like mildew or leaf spot, this is great to use. Okay guys, anyways, I think that that's it. I made a mess on my desk. Next time I repot, I wasn't expecting to repot. The next time I do, I'm gonna have to remove my dust calendar from my desk because I just realized I got sphagnum moss all over it and it's paper, fantastic. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave me a comment down below. Definitely participate in the giveaway and let me know what you wanna see in the new year. Like what kinds of videos you wanna see. I obviously wanna post things that you guys wanna see but um, I also have a few ideas for future videos too. So I'm excited to get those out in the coming weeks. And I think that's it. I'm going to go put these plants back in the box so that they could root a little bit more. But one last look at the melano. Isn't she cute? These leaves get really big. Like in their natural habitat. <laughs> really big. Alright guys, I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye!